Hey everyone, it's Chrissy at Pinnovate. This tutorial is for our set of four layered wooden characters. They are absolutely adorable, easy and fun to make, and look wonderful when they're all finished, all displayed on your wall. So get your kit, we'll go through all the supplies together, and we are going to make this. Okay, so let's go through the supplies included in your kit. You are going to get a whole selection of different colors of paints, uh, some makeup sponges, some sponge brushes as well, and then for the layered set of wooden pieces, you're going to get four solid back pieces and then four cutout character pieces. On the backs of those, there's going to be a 3M on there. So you're going to get four back pieces and four character pieces. So grab all your supplies and we'll get started. For the first step, you kind of want to pre-plan what colors are going where. So for example, I have this one done with the blue background because I know the red is going on top. And of course with this one, the red background because I know the gold is going on top. So you want to plan what color the background and the foreground are going to be. So for this one, I think I'm going to do a white background with blue and then her, she's gonna be white with black. So I'm gonna get that prepared and we're gonna be painting our backgrounds first. Okay, so for the first step, we're going to be painting our backgrounds. Uh, you can prep all of your colors at once and then move from background to background and get them all done in one step. And while they're drying, you can start working on the front. I know I have two of mine finished already, so I'm gonna be working on both of these at the same time. Both of these are going to have a white background. So using my sponge brush, I am going to take a little bit of paint at a time and I wanna make sure that I'm getting it nice and flat across here. I don't want any lumps or bumps. Anything that is thick is not going to dry. So I wanna make sure that this is going to dry nice and even and flat. And it may take two coats and that's okay. So I wanna make sure that I'm using nice long strokes all the way back and forth, making sure that that paint is flat. I only need to get the top of the wood in this, I don't need to worry about any of the edges at all. And I'm going to do this to both sets of backgrounds. Okay, so I have one coat on both of my backgrounds. I'm going to allow that to dry completely and then add a second coat just to make sure that that background is nice and solid white. All right, so I have actually put three coats of white on here. I wanted to make sure that it was nice and solid and even and I absolutely allowed them to dry in between coats to make sure that I'm not uh, gooping it on or pulling any of the wet paint off of there. So I put three coats on here and it is completely dry to the touch and we're gonna move on to the front pieces of the character. Okay, so this is my first one that I'm gonna start with. So my background is white and I know that I want this part to be blue. So I have my blue paint and I'm using a makeup sponge. So I'm using the very back here. Now all of these pieces are so very, uh, they can be cut out very tiny, a little bit intricate. So it's much easier to use a makeup sponge than a brush for this. This allows the paint to just be applied directly to the top rather than accidentally kind of gooping it into all of these holes. Okay, so with your makeup sponge, I'm using the very back edge and I'm taking a little bit of paint onto the back and then I'm actually dabbing it off. I don't want very much paint on here at all. This is going to prevent it from oozing over onto all of these little pieces. So I have some nice flat paint on there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be dabbing it directly up and down. I'm not swiping it, I'm not going back and forth, I'm going directly up and down. And what that allows is just for the paint to touch the very top of this piece of wood rather than the edges at all. So using this method, I'm going to do one whole layer, allow it to dry, see how it looks if you just like that one layer we're good to go. If you wanna add a second layer, again, depending on what color you have, make sure that it is dry first before you add a second layer. All right, so I finished this one. I put two coats on there so it's nice and even. I don't see any wood grain kind of peeking through the paint anywhere. I wanna make sure that it's a nice even color and I'm ready to move on to my second character. 
All right, I am moving on to my last character here. Now, the easiest thing for this project is to just keep everything two colors, right? So the background is one color and the top is another color. That is the easiest way to do this. However, for this one, I'm gonna show you one optional uh, thing that you could do. So if you have masking tape, again, this is completely optional. You do not have to do this. I'm just gonna make an extra little pop of color here. I'm going to keep her lips red and then do everything else black. I am going to actually just use the masking tape and tape off this little framed section here so it doesn't bleed over and it still provides uh, the outline as a frame. So this is optional. This is only if you want to add an extra pop of color. The other ones look great uh, just with the two colors. The only other thing that I could say is if you taped off uh, this one's wing, that is another possibility. However, I'm going to do the exact same thing with the back of the makeup sponge, taking a tiny little bit of color, dabbing it off, and I'm only doing this one section here, and that is it. All right, so I've applied two coats just to the lips here. I'm gonna peel off that masking tape, and we have a nice solid line where that frame is gonna be. So now that her lips are painted, I'm going to do the same thing with masking tape. I'm gonna tape the opposite direction now to make sure that those lips don't get painted over. All right, so I'm protecting that color and I'm ready to paint the whole rest of my character. All right, for this one, I decided I'm gonna go with black. So I have my black paint and again, another makeup sponge, just using the back in the exact same manner that we've been doing this entire time. So taking some paint, dabbing it off first, that is very, very important. I can always add more paint onto this, but I can't take it off. Once it gloops into any of these areas, it's very difficult to clean up. So less is more. Again, straight up and down motion so we don't make it too messy and we're just on the very top of the surface. Okay, so this character is all done. I put two coats of black on here. Again, remembering to let it dry in between coats. Uh, that gives it the best possible outcome. All right, so I'm ready to peel off this tape. See how we did here? There we go. So that just adds a little pop of color. Not necessary if you wanted to do the whole thing black, please do. This is completely optional. Okay, so now all of my painting is finished and I am ready to assemble. Okay, so now the backs of our characters have this 3M. So this is double-sided sticky tape and we're going to just peel off this layer, stick it directly down onto our background and it's going to adhere and stick together. So So as I'm lining this up, I'm just making sure that it's not overlapping or falling off the edge. I wanna make sure that all of these edges are lined up nice and straight. And then when I'm happy with where it is, I'm just going to give it a push. So that 3M is going to adhere to the back. And one is done. Thank you so much for following along our tutorial for our wooden character signs. It's such a cool kit. It's easy for all ages and they look fantastic all lined up on your wall. What a cool decor piece. So I hope your little ones had fun with this. I hope you had fun with this and we would love to see how they turned out. So please tag us on Instagram at Pinnovate and DIY Delivery. We're also on Twitter and YouTube where you're watching this. We're on Facebook. We're on Pinterest. We're on all of the platforms. So. Please give us a follow and a like and we will see you next time. Bye!